In this video, we'll go over the definitions of mean, median, and mode, and how to calculate them using this data set. Hey, what's up? Chad here with Determined Data, helping you organize and manage your information in the most efficient way possible. If you're new here, on this channel I do Excel tips and tricks videos as well as tutorials just like this one, so if you find it helpful, consider subscribing. So this here is what we want to find, the mean, median, and mode, and as you can see I've already have it calculated just because I want to give an explanation of each and have an example to show. Now the mean is simply the average, so when you add up all the numbers and then divide by the number of numbers there are, you'll get your mean, or average. So for example, if I take all these and add them up, and right here the sum is 1007, if we take that and divide by the amount of numbers there are, so the count, and in this case there are 15, so we take 1007 and divide it by 15, we'd get our mean, or average. The median is simply the middle value in the list of numbers. So here it says 86, and as we look here, it's not 86 is not in the middle, it's way up here. But imagine if you had a scale of 1 to 20, the middle value of that entire data set would be 10, because smack dab in the middle. So if we were to take this column here, and we were to sort it, so we right click and we come to sort, we'll sort from smallest to largest, and we'll expand the selection to include everything. Now it's all sorted from least to greatest, and as you can see, the 86 smack right dab in the middle. And the mode is simply the value in the data set that occurs most often. So in this case, it'd be 117. And as you can see here, 117 is represented twice. And so the mode is 117. Now, how do we calculate these? So let's go ahead and delete these, and let's go ahead and do it over again. So the mean, there is no, if you were to hit the equal and you were to type in mean, you're not going to find a mean function or formula. Because the mean is basically the same thing as average. So to find the mean, we need to type in average, then select the range that we want to average, and hit enter. Now to find the median, there is actually a median function. So we'll type in median, pop up, select the range, hit enter, and we get 86. And the same thing with mode. There's actually a mode function, so we'll type in mode, select our range, enter, and we get 117. Now in this case, I can see the value of knowing the mean or the average of this data set. It's kind of nice to know the average amount that the students are bringing in, but I don't think the median or mode are very helpful here in this case. You know, they are very helpful in some other scenarios, just to be clear, I'd probably only use the mean function here, and I probably wouldn't even be looking up the median or mode. Well, that's it for this video. If you want to know how I did these data bars to make this more readable, I'll link up that video above, as well as put it in the description below. As always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Comment below if you're new to the channel. I'd love to welcome you and get your feedback, and I'll see you in the next video.